So at Chica Organic Farms, we have categorized organic waste into three different types. You have market waste, which are your fruits and vegetables. You have kitchen waste, which is your leftover food. And then you have animal waste, which is either the animal manure or the animal carcass and eternal organs. So out of these three, market waste is mainly water and fiber. Now when you feed this to the lava, they will not grow so well. What is necessary for the lava is protein and carbohydrates. The richer the waste is in protein and carbohydrates, the richer the quality of the lava. So market waste is full of water and fiber, so they won't grow so well. Leftover foods or kitchen waste is actually very rich in protein and carbohydrate because this was meant for human consumption. And you can see it's full of uh, posho, I'm seeing here, beans, I'm seeing beef, sauces, all these things. So the lava will grow really well by eating this. Animal manure doesn't work so well because it is the residue that is left behind after the animal's body has consumed or absorbed all the nutrients. So the thing that has remained behind doesn't work so well. But in contrast, the carcass and the internal organs are lean meat. So the lava grows well because that lean meat is protein. So what do you do when you want to mix this up or when you want to raise lava? If all you have access to is market waste, you will need to mix it with something that is powerful. For instance, leftover food. That way you get an average growth which would feed your animals, whether it's chicken, pigs or fish. Same thing when you have uh, animal manure, on its own it won't work so well. So it's best to mix it with something that is powerful. Again, you have leftover food. So you take animal manure and you mix it with leftover food, you get something that will come out really well. Now there are exceptions. Here I have brewery waste and here I have maize bran. So if you have either brewery waste or maize bran, those two work just as well as the leftover food. Brewery waste, you can get it in large quantities at a very uh, relatively cheap price. Maize bran, slightly higher in pricing. So I prefer when you use brewery waste. Well, personally, I use brewery waste. And what you do here, this brewery waste is from maize and sorghum. There are two types from brewery companies. There's maize, bran and sorghum, there's maize and sorghum and there's also barley. The one from barley doesn't work so well. So you, you'd rather uh, request for maize and sorghum. That's the one that works really, really well. So what you can do in place of, of uh, the leftover food, you can get your maize bran or your brewery waste and mix it with market waste. Or you can get either of these two and mix it with your manure, your animal manure. But now when it comes to market waste, you're going to need to first grind it so that it becomes pasty. You can use a hammer mill or you can chop it up into very tiny pieces using a machete or you can ferment it. Fermentation will just require you to put this in a closed uh, container, mix it up with a little bit of water and let it, sick, uh, let it sit for some time. It's going to get soft and when it gets soft, it's easier for the lava to eat it. So yes, the lava can eat something like a cassava, but it's going to take it a really long time to finish it. So grinding it up ensures you ensures the, uh, a very quick uh, production in that the lava is going to finish eating it very quickly. And that is how you can feed lava with any of these three. Now, how do you mix it? You mix it in 50-50 ratios. If you're going to use market waste, Assuming you have 10 kilograms of market waste, you're going to need to mix it with either 10 kilograms of brewery waste or 10 kilograms of maize bran. Same thing with animal waste. If you get 10 kilos here, you're going to have to mix it with 10 kilos of bran or 10 kilos of brewery waste. So when you mix it in such ratios 50-50, you get a really good output. And it takes you 5 kilograms of waste mixed to get 1 kilogram of fresh lavi ready for feed.